Hello YouTube, Gbo Unit here, and I've got a little um, product update. Uh, well, products. Um, basically, um, well, I went and picked up a few things, and um, you know, I just wanted to show them off a little bit. Um, some things I got through the mail order. Some things I got through the um, the uh, gun show, and some things I just bought at Turner's Outdoors. So anyway, I just wanted to share some of the stuff I got. So. The first thing I'll do, I forgot about this one already. <clears throat> Bear with me. I got the Dremel tool that I wanted and the quick release end here. Ha ha ha. So I got this, you know, because I think every guy needs to have like a little tool here to, you know, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm going to use it for, except to polish the feed ramps of my pistols and uh, to grind things. I'll find more things to do with it. You know, I just I got it at a good deal at, at the gun show. Um, also, along with that, I did get a case of accessories for the Dremel, and I won't go through all of them, of course. Just want to show. You know, got a lot of attachments here um, to use with the Dremel. There's a few things in here I have no idea how to, what to use it for, so or what it, what the purpose is. But I will learn by trial and error. So <clears throat> that's the second thing. All right, the next thing I got. Um, let me be selective here. Oh, okay. Um, I did pick up some pin punch a pin punch set in this nice neat little package here at the gun show and these are it really that's it useful for hey you know it's been useful for gunsmithing it helped me with my AR-15 build so that was nice I do wish I had the I forgot what it's called but the punches that have a hole in it um, so that you can use it to, um, to press in or drive in, um, I forgot what you call them, set pins on your AR. Uh, it, it holds it and drives it in, you know. It, I, I did it the hard way, I didn't have the proper tool, but these punches helped out a lot. So there's that. Uh, next thing I got at the gun show is this. These are scissors, and they're not cheap either. Uh, it's, it's made in USA. They're called Slip and Snip. Let's see if you can, I don't know if you can see that. Sorry about the focus and everything, but you know, it's just pull it out like so. And they're pretty solid scissors, you know, so. And it's it's nice and convenient. It, it cuts real well, and it's very good to have in an everyday carry um, situation. Your little bag, your bug out bag, or everyday carry, or in your car. You know, it's a nice, neat little package. Okay, so there's that. Um, a few things that I had went ahead and ordered. Um, uh, I won't go through everything. I'll just go through some of the main ones. Um, I did pick up rails for my AR-15. This is the close-up of it. Got these from Magpul. Okay. I have yet to put them on my AR, but I did get a longer one here, a 5-inch, uh, or well, it's a, 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 an, a an 11 slot rail. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. That's going to be for the underneath part of my handguard because I needed to install this. My angled foregrip. It's going to be installed right on the rail just like so and I'll be able to have it on my on my handguard. So that's what that's for. I got the shorter ones here uh, to put on the the sides of the handguard you know for future future considerations of laser and light. So and if anything if I had another you know rifle or anything I, I have extra um, rails here, but um, they are just so you can see Magpul, 
MOE. So those those are items I've got. Um, the next one I got, I did go to Turner's and um, I purchased a bullet button. Okay. Those of you um, who are not familiar with California law, uh, you can't have uh, an AR-15. Pretty sure it applies to any other assault weapon. Uh, you, like for example, my AR-15, you can't have a normal <clears throat> magazine release that you can manipulate with your finger. Okay, that classifies it as an assault weapon. You have to have a magazine release button that uses a tool. Okay, <clears throat> so if you notice that longish peg right there, that is a, a um, it's a it's a static stationary it, the bullet doesn't move or the bullet button doesn't move it stays static what moves is what's inside where you push it and it releases the mag it's kind of hard to, to explain but but that thing right there the normal the normal bullet but the mag release is normally about that long okay and you can push it and release the mag now this being this long, there's no room to push it. It just stays static. And there's a hole here where you would manipulate um, the magazine release by pressing inside here. And you can't reach it with your finger, so you have to use a tool. <clears throat> My tool, and they sell, they sold tools you know, at the gun show. They had special made tools that you would attach to your finger. You attach it to your magazine. Uh, you'd have it separately, carrying separately, and um, you know those were selling for like 10, 15 bucks, and you know for a little piece that, you know, okay, here it is, All right? See, and when it's when it's installed, looks like that, and a normal magazine release, you push it, magazine releases. This one, because it's so long, you push it, there's no give because it's so long. So what you do, what releases the mag is inside here, the spring-loaded mag release. And you have to use a tool to push it in, and the magazine will release. So my tool, instead of those $10, $15 uh, tools, I got a $1 keychain. Okay, This is a, a 223 round, and as you can see, it fits just fine. That's all it needs to release the magazine. So um, that's how I'm going to utilize that. Okay, so just a short note on that for <clears throat> you non-California people who have much better gun laws than we do. Um, okay, next thing. I went to, okay, I went and got a Hogue grip. I'm not going to say what it's for yet because that's a surprise. I made a purchase that I will release in another video in a little while. I'm not going to reveal what this grip is for. Those of you with a sharp eye probably already know what the heck it's for. So anyway, here it is. Hogue is um, a grip manufacturer. They make uh, grips for all kinds of pistols, probably every pistol around. And their claim to fame, correct me if I'm wrong, is that the grips are rubberized. They feel good in the hand, okay? They're not hard plastic, they're not bone, they're not wood or anything like that. It's They're rubberized so you can get that nice grippy feel. So, you know, this thing, whew, it already feels good. I cannot wait to put this thing on the proper firearm I got this for. So. That will be a surprise, and I will make sure to update all of you on that uh, when the time comes. Okay, so, Hogue Grips. All right, the last thing I got, um, I went to Big Five. You guys probably seen my video on Big Five Knife Reviews. Well, this knife went on sale, and I'm really glad to get it. Okay, check that out. 
I did not spend forty dollars on this knife okay if you know me by now I don't spend regular price on just about anything okay so here's what it is CRKT okay I forgot what it means Columbia River knife something tea bags I don't know uh, this is the M16 Carson design and let me show you <clears throat> it's a nifty little box it comes with the, the actual knife the tool and it just has a couple of brochures one of which is um, it talks about how to use uh, the auto lock okay and I'll show the auto lock in a minute it's just a safety fe feature of the knife and it's patent pending and it just you know pictorial instruction for that um, the other thing is a catalog of this company's knives and I didn't realize that there's so many of these Ah, oh, okay it's Columbia River knife and tool okay sorry about that but I opened it up and ooh, look at all these knives and then I open it up again oh well shoot look at all these knives there's more then I open it up again I'm like holy smokes look at all these knives these guys have a full-on set of knives okay I won't go through all that but these are the Carson M16. Uh, it features a Zytel, um, what do you call that, handle, which is basically like a polymer plastic type of thing. Anyone who knows what Zytel is, you know, you can correct me and let me know what it, it is exactly. But um, it says these affordable M16 everyday carry models have. AUS four blades, AUS four blades, stainless steel interframe build, and Zytel scales, removable stainless steel clip, and featuring our exclusive auto locks safety. Okay, so it's that knife right there. And let me show you. Here it is. They had a couple of them on sale. One was a Tanto blade with a half serrated edge. Um, and it was silver. The blade was silver. The, the handle was still black Zytel like this one. And the other one, of course, is this. It is a straight blade, a traditional knife tip um, with no serrations. I wanted a blade that did not have any serrations. And um, here's the back of it. Okay, there's the clip. All right. Let me show the front of it again. again. Okay, you see CRKT. All right, so here we go. Um, let's see if I can actually do this. It flips out pretty well. Okay, and you can see on the blade, Columbia River knife uh, and tool. Okay, and the other side shows what the model is. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, the the focus is not that great. Um. Oh, the small print is just the patent number, patent numbers that are associated with this knife. Okay, so I like it because it's got a very slim design. Okay, now compare that with my other everyday carry, the K bar knife. Okay, if you guys see my other video, you know that I carry this all the time. So, all right, let me just do a side by side comparison. Okay, this is a pretty meaty knife. It's, it's, it's big it's a decent size here's a slim one but check it out okay blade size is the same length it's just not as wide it's just not as thick okay but it's a very solid blade it's it's slim it's it's uh, nice to carry um, I'm trying to I'm considering where to carry it um, but you know I, I do like the handle a lot that Zytel material it's it's pretty nice okay there's the innards of it right there now the way this auto lock works now if you look at this this K bar the lock on here 
is that serrated um, uh, trigger right there. Trigger, block, whatever you want to call it. But what you do is you push it to one side because see it's connected to the blade. You push it to one side to allow the blade to move. So, um, push it this way and then the blade will move. This, hopefully I won't cut my finger off. There you go. Just like that. See? That's it. Okay. Now this one has the same thing. See that? That serrated tooth thing, you gotta you gotta press it aside. However, you cannot, it is locked. It is locked by that red button. So what you gotta do on these particular ones is you pull the button down. That will allow that lock, that serrated tooth lock, to move. Because if it's not there, okay, this it's not, yeah, it's it won't move. Okay, it will not move. I know it's hard to see, but if you pull this down, it unlocks it, and you can move it. Ugh. Sorry, I'm not doing very good with this. Oh, i got to move it the other way. It'll move over, and then you can take the blade down. Okay? Just like that. All right. So, it's pretty good. I do like this. Um, basically, it's just... just Hold it down like that. That's it. So, so that's it. Columbia River Knife and Tool. The M16. Um, sorry, forgot what it was already. Carson Design. M16 Carson Design. So, that's basically it. Those are the things I got, the neat things I got um, for myself. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I know that some of you guys are, are have been commenting and asking me questions about the AR-15 build. The rifle is built. I do have to install the bullet button, though. The correct thing, because I don't want to be a felon. Okay. So um, when that video is done, I will release that, and you'll be able to enjoy that. So um, hopefully that will be very soon, uh, as well as showing off what pistol ooh, what pistol is supposed to get this hogue grip all right okay we'll take care we'll see you in the next video bye